This is the step-by-step -step walkthrough for setting up your ZoneNet wireless access point. First, go ahead and get your ZoneNet wireless access point out of the box connected to your PC with the supplied RJ45 cable. Go ahead and go to Start, My Computer, or if you have My Computer on your desktop, open it up that way. Go to My Network Places on the left-hand side, and then View Network Connections. You'll see Local Area Connection. At this point, we want to go ahead and right-click that, go to Properties, and the menu that pops up after that, we want to go ahead and scroll down till you see Internet Protocol. Double-click that, or single-click it and go to Properties. Then select Use the following IP address and type in the numbers on the screen. After you're finished, click OK and close. Your local area connection status should say connected after everything. At this point, we want to open up your internet browser. Stop whatever home page is trying to load and go to the following IP on the screen. When the web page loads, we want to use the username admin and password admin. On the following page, click advanced. On the next page, click wireless settings. We want to change mode from AP to client and then click apply. At this point, it may take a couple seconds because your wireless access point has to restart. After this, we want to go ahead and click Site Survey. We'll click Refresh, and then select your wireless network, and then click Connect. After we've connected to our wireless source, we want to go ahead and click LAN Settings. And in here, you're going to use the information provided from your router to set up the following page. The IP address refers to the IP address you want to assign to your wireless access point. The default gateway is going to be how you log into your router, so enter that number in the appropriate box. The range you want to set outside of your range of your router, that way you don't have any collisions or anything like that. After all these numbers are entered, you can click Apply. The wireless access point is now going to restart. Give it the appropriate time, probably around 5 to 25 seconds. And then we're going to want to go back to Network Connections, right click it, go to Properties, and then Internet Protocol once again. We want to select Obtain IP Address Automatically. Now your local connection should say connected and firewalled. Now pull up your internet browser and browse a web page to make sure you have entered your settings in successfully. If the web page comes up, you've properly configured your wireless access point and are now ready to hook it up to your infusion. If you are unable to browse a web page, you may need to go back a step to the LAN settings. Make sure your IP address is set properly, your default gateway is set properly, and your DHCP client range is set properly.